How are you guys doing? It's your girl Silly Smog Bang, the Mog Bang News Reporter. Here out on the YouTube stream. Now, guys, as you guys could see and read, yes, we have a follow-up video and an update of Adriana Slay, her Patreon. Apparently, she have dropped the video that she have promised that she's going to talk about her new friend she have dropped the video very very soon and quick don't push it everybody and i'm definitely going to let you guys know um some few things what have been said in the video so this is from adriana slay her patreon a t girl well i can't do my like that hold the fuck on y'all damn hold on hold on so guys as you guys could hear from adriana slay herself she is friends with a T girl. Now she call it a T girl. The T means transgender girl. What's better? Okay. So I have a newfound friendship uh, with a T girl. And for the people out there that don't know what a T girl is, that means transgender girl. Okay. What that means is that she still has her you know, male organ, the, the main one. Uh, but she dresses and identifies as you know, a female. And um, she was in one of my videos here on Patreon. She was only in it for a couple of seconds, but her name's Nicole and she's just a beautiful person. Um, when I first met her, you know, I was just basically complimenting her. You know, uh, I didn't, just from seeing her, you know, where I was staying at, I was just really intrigued at how beautiful she was. So guys, as you guys could hear, this is how they have met each other and all of that. Now let's get into this video. Of course, I am going to let you guys know because I don't want to show too much of the video. Of course, if you guys want to hear and see the whole Shakara, of course, you guys need to go and subscribe to her, her Patreon, guys. Don't push it, Debbie. So, apparently, Adriana Slay is saying that she didn't really know that her new friend, Nicole, was a tea girl till she started to talk. Then it's when Adriana Slay found out that she was a he. Don't push it, everybody. Apparently, the new friend Nicole is somebody that doesn't hide that she is a T uh, girl, so a transgender. Um, that is of uh, the things that Adriana Slay likes about her. I'm going to say her. And also that um, she is apparently very trans, uh, trans transpiration, very transferred. Sorry for my English, everybody that uh, who she is and all of that sexuality that she is but apparently also Adriana Slay have seen that some of his own friends that are male were watching and apparently hitting on Nicole and apparently that the male friends of Adriana Slay did not know that she was a he because she looks so beautiful till she start talking apparently then you will find out that it isn't he but she looks so beautiful i have to say she is very beautiful yes she is indeed and that's why a lot of males cannot figure out if she is a he or a she Adriana Slay also like about her that she's very um she don't like to lie she don't like to lie she's very honest and it's what you see is not what you get that is also one of the part that Adriana Slay like about her 
apparently Adriana Slay is also saying that in the first, in the beginning where Adriana Slay have met Nicole, she was like the ice princess and all of that. But now Adriana Slay is seeing when the walls are coming down. Now Adriana Slay is apparently seeing the real color, the true of Nicole. Apparently, Adriana Slay is also saying that she's a mix. She's a black and white mix, but she definitely identified herself as a black person. Apparently, this new friend of Adriana Slay, Nicole, has shown Adriana Slay some things that will shake your brain and all of that. Now, I'm very curious to know. Apparently, Adriana Slay feels like it's so huge that she cannot even bring it on patreon that she even doubting to bring it on patreon the things that nicole have show her apparently adriana slay is also saying that you need to be careful of those masculine men that is walking around pretending to only like real females because apparently they a lot of those masculine men are in to the T girls and all of that. Apparently, uh, this new friend Nicole um, have also said to Adriana Slay that there is one thing that she don't like about Adriana Slay. It's one thing that Adriana Slay don't like about this new friend Nicole, and Adriana Slay turns around and also said, "But I know for sure that she also have something that she don't like about her." So Adriana Slay, and then Adriana Slay said, "Oh yes, there is something that she don't like about me, and apparently is that Adriana Slay is too loud." too loud and all of that that is one thing that nicole does not like about adriana slay but in this video adriana slay is going to explain in details what she doesn't like about nicole apparently also can... nicole is very young apparently she is in her 20s guys so she is very young unfortunately feels that most women come from Men. She feels that most real females um, are <laughs> tranny. And y'all, I don't know if she think that way because she's a tranny or not, but <laughs> that's what irritates me, y'all. We had a whole. So, guys, as you guys could hear, this is what uh, the new friend of Adriana Slay Nicole feels like that all women some of the women um, are all transgender and all of that but Adriana Slay is going deeper in this situation so you guys are going to understand more what Nicole is talking she about she showed me pictures it started with Mariah Carey okay she showed me pictures of Mariah Carey as a as a little person a, a child and uh, she was like look at how she looks like a boy. And I'm gonna be honest, y'all, in a couple of those pictures, Mariah Carey did look like a damn boy. She is not a boy. Uh, you know, Mariah Carey has kids and she really, really think that Mariah Carey is a tea girl. So guys, as you guys could hear, so this is the first person already that uh, Nicole thinks that um, is a boy, is a tea girl. So um, let's get further and then you guys are going to be hearing some names, let me tell you, and then we further can understand what Nicole is talking about. Uh, that look him. Uh, Ooh. my girl Beyonce. Oh, okay, me, you know, she went there with me. Do, do hold up, hold up, hold up. Yes, hold up. Wait a moment. Back it up. Stop, stop, stop here. Did Nicolini? Don't push it. Did you say Beyonce, my sister? Oh, hell to the no. Don't push it, Nicolini. Now, I may understand how you're feeling, but don't, not Beyonce. Not Beyonce, my sis. Mm -mm. You try, but don't push it, Nicolini. Not Beyonce. Now, when I hear that part, I was like, hell to the no. Not my Beyonce. Not my sister. Not my girl. Not my. Uh, 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 skr mm. Back it up, girl. Don't push it. But I didn't know that Adriana Slay had 
the same feelings or maybe I'm a little bit more aggressive about Beyonce or Adriana Slay is aggressive about Beyonce. Let's hear who is more aggressive. That shit really made me mad. What she said, baby? <laughs> Look him. Uh, Let's back it up. My girl Beyonce. Okay, B, y'all. She went there with B. That shit really made me mad. What she said, B. But anyway. Exactly. Period. Period. Um, uh, uh, AG, 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 don't tell, tell Nicolini, don't push it with Beyonce. That, that really make me angry too. Don't try it. Not Beyonce. She said Aaliyah. Aaliyah? Um, she even said Aretha Franklin. God damn it. <laughs> okay. She even said Aretha fucking Franklin, y'all. <laughs> are really, man, T-girls. Everybody got named y'all. That shit made me so mad. Because it showed me a side of her that's delusional. Oops. As fuck. Oops. That's what it showed me a side of her that's delusional as fuck. Yep. Okay? Let me be clear. Dear. Okay. <laughs> Delusion. Like, cause she really, really think that every female or the majority, she she definitely said the celebrities in Hollywood mm. <clears throat> are trans girls but this part is so funny i wish i could let you guys see but adriana slay was like st went straight up in her car she was like st she she went straight up in her car she 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 pulled her breast up for her. She, she she fixed her glass guys she fixed her glass she was fixing her necklace to say this to say this and to make it clear dear hold on people listen to this and i'm just like okay okay i said we're all here right here <laughs> all this right here right here Ooh, she's pushing the boobies it's up. real than a bitch she pushed the boobies up too and it is all female and she flipping the hair 100 percent female Okay, so she let Nicole know that she, she pushed the booby up, she flipped the hair, and she let Nicole know that all right here, right here, is 100% female. Yes, guys, so as you guys could hear, so this is the situation with the new friend of Nicole. She um, is saying, I'm going to say she, respectfully, I'm going to say she, you know, because I think most of them would like for you to say she to them. Um, that um, this kind of feeling, I have heard it before and I uh, have known it before and I know a little bit this kind of mentality. The only thing I can say to Adriana Slay is be careful um, because some of them, I'm not going to say Nicole, but some of them can have a jealousy and it, you know, I, as we all can see Adriana Slay, her character and all of that, you know, it can turn out badly, you know, but Adriana Slay need to, you know, watch out a little bit because sometimes they can get a little bit jealous and then they will start with this kind of delusional thinking that Beyonce, Rita Franklin, Aaliyah, Mariah Carey, they're all T-girls. But, you know, this is the kind of thing they wish that it is like that but it's not like that you know most of the girls that she have mentioned as far as we all know they're all female some of them they even have babies they have children they carry you know and all of that so this is a kind of a way of thinking just to um, make people accept them you know, because they are a community that um, a lot of people does, doesn't accept them. And for people to accept them, because, you know, a lot of people love Beyonce. A lot of people love Mariah Carey. A lot of people love Rita Franklin. A lot of people accept them. A lot of people adore them. But because they are tea girls, a lot of people doesn't accept them. And to be accepted, they want to categorize, 
categorize themselves with those kind of people so people will be like oh my gosh so beyonce is a tea girl you know we love beyonce so we are going also going to love all the other tea girls this is what i feel this is my opinion it doesn't have to be like that guys so this is my opinion so i feel like they always do this kind of delusional it's it's it looks delusional for us because we see mariah carey and beyonce as females we don't see them as t girls you understand so for us it's delusional but for them they're going to characterize themselves oh you know beyonce mariah carey and rita franklin the all t girls so you guys accept them but why you guys don't accept us you understand so they're trying to categorize themselves in that box so that people can accept them let me tell you it's a very hard and a very sad situation that they have to um in my opinion trying to um come with a story come with a kind of line delusional or picture people that is not um a t uh gender a t person just to um get accepted uh, from people um so that is what um it's really going on you know it's a very harsh that they not they are not getting accepted in a lot of community it's harsh but yeah it is what it is you know it's a lot of things that um they don't understand also that we females don't get accepted too like if you are overweight or you are too thin or you are too short you are too small we also get being put in a kind of box we also are putting in a kind of box so it's not only the t girls are going through a kind of accept accept about um accepting people accepting you but we as women real women also get categorized um you know in in different kind of way you know if you're if you don't have the, the beautiful hair or you have rough hair or you're short or you're thick or you don't have breasts or you have big breasts there's a lot of things that we as women also go through and that what i feel sometimes that the t t um genders the t uh, gender doesn't understand that you know they are not the only one that goes to that struggle but we never i don't feel like that we come out and say oh listen Arita Franklin have a big ass. I have a big ass. You need to accept me. No, we don't we don't do that. We don't categorize uh, celebrities to be accepted. But in this unfortunately, she Nicole is categorizing right now um Mariah Carey as you guys could hear Beyoncé and they, these are all um famous artists just to be accepted but you know we are in 2022 and i want to say to nicole that you guys you know are loved as as a lot you guys are loved a lot not as much that we all wish you guys are but we are definitely definitely 10 20 step forward than it used to be because nowadays let me tell you guys you guys are getting more accepted in the community and all of that those are baby steps this is baby step and it doesn't work by saying that Beyonce is a T-Jenny. It doesn't work like that. It only makes people look like, okay, this is crazy because we all saw that Beyonce was pregnant. Hello? Hello? And deliver babies and all of that. So, it is crazy too. It is delusional and it looks a little bit crazy in my opinion for her to say something like that. So, I hope you guys have could I hope Adriana Slay have could because Adriana Slay was asking in this video why Nicole is talking like that and thinking like that. Uh, that's what um uh Adriana Slay was also asking on why and all of that. The only thing Adriana Slay what you can do is um accept um and be tolerant and respect Nicole what she's saying because you can never change their mind in that aspect. It is very difficult. You know for her even to dress like a woman and know that she's a man, that is a big step in her life and she have to deal with it every day. I myself I have a good friend that is also a transgender and um for her to also told us as family 
um this one time she was sitting at my house and she was like oh my god you know the way you guys have accept me and um in and you know the way you, your family greet me and respect me i said yes you know it it's it's was very painful and very sad to hear her say that but knowing i didn't know but she was also going through that people d decline her that people doesn't accept her and when people accept her that is a big big huge feeling for them you know so you know the only thing what you can do is respect them let them be in their own bubbles and let them feel comfortable you know if you truly say you're the your friend let her feel that you are a true friend and let her feel comfortable um, that you accept her for who she is and do, and that you definitely respect her way of thinking. And it might sound delusional, it may look delusional, but at least you can respect her opinion on how she feel like um, that other people are transgender and all of that. But they are definitely not the easiest persons persons to be friends with because they have their own spiritual and their own mental um battle that they are battling also every day by showing themselves as a transgender and uh, that is already something that they deal with and sometimes they can flip let me tell you that maybe you can say something and they think that you're coming against them. They can flip sometimes. Maybe you are dressing that day a little bit sexy. They maybe think, oh, this is a competition today. You know, it's, it's very, very tricky to be friends with them. But I'm not saying that Nicole is like that, but this is my experience. So um, that, that's what I wanted to say. But uh, I hope you understand, Adriana Slay. Um, I hope you have something on what I'm saying, you know. But uh, Adriana Slay was asking in this video, are um, people their opinion and all of that. So that's what I, you know, I can give you as an opinion and as an advice. Also, apparently in the video, Adriana Slay is saying that they do like each other. So they care um, also for each other to um, also uh, have that feeling to get to know each other. So that is um, what is going on with their friendship right now. They do like each other to care enough to get to know each other. Apparently, Adriana Slay would like to interview Nicole because she feels like there are some interesting things that Nicole um, can talk about and she can ask also about it. And it will definitely be a fire interview. That is what Adriana Slay is seeing. So guys, so that was Adriana Slay, her um, Patreon, the update of her Patreon. The Your video name is Friends with a Trans Girl. Very different. And all of that, that was the name of the video. And yes, guys, like I have promised you guys, uh, this is like the part two, but we have a part three. And in the part three, we're going to talk more about B Love's life. So I came with this um, middle part of the video because Adriana today apparently have dropped the Patreon video just before I finish also the first video. So we're going to have three parts, guys. So I've promised you guys the video of B-Love. That will be then in the third part. So guys, as you guys could hear, this is the update of Adriana Slay Patreon. And also about the T friend, the transgender friend and all of that. Yes, guys. Um, uh, I hope I could help Adriana Slay with the questions she had. I don't know. Don't push it, everybody. So, guys, stay tuned for more news and updates on my channel. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel and stay up to date of all the shakara that is going on on YouTube, people. Don't push I it, everybody. Take all my, uh, my members, of course. Ahora. And also my supporters and all of that. And like I always say, God bless everybody. Stay blessed, everybody. And you know it. Ahora, see in the building. Bye, guys. Do. <laughs> ah.